FFFF. And I will show you uh, how to find the forces which are linked to the whole system and uh, how that will be will, will relate to the point uh, any point on 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 that object so uh, let's have a look at this example it says the sphere has a mass of 6 kg and is supported as shown so this this is 6 kg draw a free body diagram of the sphere so let us first look at the sphere i want you to draw the free body diagram of the sphere so what i'll do is I will make a box. Anything that's connected to the sphere has to come in that box. I cannot do this. Look, eh? I cannot do this. No. Anything that's connected to the sphere has to be part of the box. So for me, I've got a sphere and I've got force and a downward force, gravity force and the cable force. This is not a free body diagram. The free body diagram is basically a particle. And the free body diagram is basically a particle where you apply the forces, that's it. The object shape doesn't make, a, 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 the object face shape is not applicable. It's just the particle, one point, and you apply all the forces. So this, let's look in detail the uh, the sphere free body diagram. Come on, where is the sphere? Yeah. So now the hold on. It said this is the way to show the free body of the sphere. No, I would not do this. I would do this point and five eight point nine newton, and that is my FC. That's much better. Don't make a big circle. If you make it, doesn't matter, but this is a much better way of doing it. This one. Okay. Now, the other thing it says here is to, what was that? Uh, uh, free body diagram of chord CE. Where is chord CE? CE. Oh, that's the chord here. So I will not draw the free body diagram of the court here so i will not draw this no i will draw things that are connected to it that's the my my cord so i've got this cord so cord is always in full condition okay there's no push so i know that i've got force up and i've got a force down uh, so let's look at its free body and this is the free body diagram of your cord which is here so cord, I cut it off from the surrounding. The next one, we need to draw the free body diagram of the knot that's here, this joint here. So I will draw a circle on this joint. That's basically what you see. Uh, and this is the free body diagram of the knot here, this knot here. So I've got this force acting uh, towards, uh, is the spring force. You got this force coming from the pulley, and you got this force from uh, the sphere. Okay, so what I want you is to concentrate on this force at the moment. So we've got a, 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 a C, not C. And I was looking at the forces also. I've got a rope force. Rope is always in pull, okay? Remember I mentioned rope, shackle, or chain. They are all in pull condition. So it means that there's a pull from the particle. So concentrate on this one. Look at the direction of this force. It is acting downward because it's the pull. I am looking at the effect of this on C. This is there's a downward force because of the pull of the rope. Now, let us go back and look at the free body diagram of sphere. So if I draw the sphere body, free body diagram, so to draw a sphere free body diagram, I cut it off from the surrounding. So basically I've got a ball, sphere, I've got a rope here. And so this, so to draw a free body diagram, it will be one point, gravity force, acting downward and the pull force acting upward. Now this pull force upward is F 
CE and this is the is the weight acting downward. So look, when I was considering the sphere, this FC is acting upward. But when I'm looking at point C, this force is acting downward. They both are the same, okay? So you, I'm pretty sure you've done this in your college where you do the, the reaction force on the other is opposite to the one where it's applied. 